Welcome. In this session, we will be discussing damages. Why do we report damages? Besides a property condition report, this is the second most important reason that we are out at a property. Our clients need to know the condition of the property and what damages are present. Many times the banks will be reimbursed by an insurance policy. What are you to report? Anything at the house and property that's been damaged including neglect, vandalism, fire, flood, earthquake, etc. Seven pictures are required for each damaged area. An eyeball estimate is required for all damages at the property. An eyeball estimate is simply a dollar amount that you think it would take to get the work done. You will not be held responsible to complete the work at this price, but the price needs to represent an accurate representation of what real bids would be. Bidding is covered in another lesson. Roof damage is one item that does not allow an eyeball estimate. A true estimate is required for three things when an active roof leak is discovered. A bid to tarp, a bid to patch, and a bid to replace, and this is covered in another lesson. Finding damage to doors is a common occurrence. The jam on the top left has damage from the door being kicked in. The best way to bid this is to put screws through the side of the jam to draw the cracked area tight, then spackling or bondo is applied to cover the cracks. Reset the striker plate to finish. An eyeball estimate for this should be around $75. The door below has damage from someone trying to gain entry. Since this is a metal door, there's not much that can be done to properly fix it. You can tell from the picture that it's a 15 panel French door. A new door will be required to fix this problem. An eyeball estimate for this should be around $250. Here's some more door damage. The door on the top is damaged beyond repair. It's an exterior wood door and will need to be replaced. Report the correct size in your estimate. The door to the right may be able to be screwed back together, but most likely will need to be replaced. When estimating doors, be sure to always supply the correct measurement of the door, and location of the door, and whether it's an interior or exterior door. All drywall damages need to be documented and reported as well. When reporting the damages, please give the dimensions on the amount of area that's damaged. The picture above is about 10 feet by 5 feet. An eyeball estimate for this should be around $450. This would include removing the damaged drywall, installing new, mudding, taping, and texturing. The picture below is not a very good picture because it does not give us any reference to the size of this hole. My guess is that this is a 12 inch by 6 inch hole. An eyeball estimate to repair this would be $75. This would be to install, tape, mud, and texture. Soffits can be made of wood, vinyl, aluminum, or a plaster lath and plywood construction. They're almost always proof that roof damage does exist. Always provide a roof bid when this is the case. Eyeball estimates are required to fix the damage. Top left, about $300. Bottom left, maybe $200. Bottom right, somewhere around $300. As with soffits, fascia can be made of wood, aluminum, or vinyl, and they are usually a result of roof damage as well. Always provide a roof bid when this is the case. Fascia on the top, maybe an eyeball estimate of $125, and the bottom, around $75. Mold damages. Mold is a very important damage that must be reported every time it's found. We are not looking to do a full remediation unless the property is completely infested with mold. Measurements of the infected areas are very important, and eyeball estimates are not accepted. Bidding molds covered in another lesson. Here's some examples of mold that you'll see at properties. Flooring damage. Measurements for damaged floors are key. Taking good shots of the damage is important. Also, take a picture of the entire floor of the room as best as possible. This helps our clients see the bigger picture. Report whether it is carpet, vinyl, laminate, like pergo, or hardwood flooring, and give an eyeball estimate for repair or replacing the damaged area. Giving an eyeball estimate for damaged flooring varies. It varies because of the size of the room. Be sure that we have the measurement of the room. Also, in the case of the damaged hardwood flooring, let us know if there's any extra flooring on site at the house so that we can do the repair with. Damaged or rotten siding needs to be reported. Please give accurate measurements and the placement of the damage on the house. 
Report whether it's wood, stucco, vinyl, aluminum, or any other type. An eyeball estimate is sufficient. So I've looked at these and decided that the top picture I would estimate at $250 and the bottom right picture at $300. Vandalized copper, plumbing, and electrical. You will see this happen many times on houses that you visit. Take good, clear, well-lighted pictures to report the damages. Report how many areas of the house were vandalized. How many bathrooms? Under the vanities? How many? In the showers and tubs? If so, how many? Were the walls and ceilings in the common areas affected too? Is the water heater still at the property? Is the electrical panel still at the property? When bidding vandalized copper, other estimates must be submitted as well if these areas are affected. Areas like drywall, missing water heaters, damaged vanities and cabinets, damaged tub and shower enclosures, damaged sinks, toilets and fixtures, any damages to the electrical panels, and missing and damaged outlets and switches. Be sure that all your pictures report the vandalism that has occurred at the property. Take detailed photos showing everything. Missing AC units are a very, very popular item these days. Make sure that every time you're at the property, you look to see if the AC unit is present and take a picture of either the empty pad or the AC unit, or in this case, the missing damaged AC unit. In summary, remember that you're the field inspector. Find everything that needs to be bid. You are also the estimator. Give eyeball estimates for everything you find. Eyeball estimates are not accepted for mold and roof damages. Use the GCP PCR form and bid form for all damages that you find. When giving an eyeball estimate, I want to show you the best way to do that. Just pull up the GCP bid form here and we would take an eyeball estimate here and we would say soffit damage on the southeast corner of the house. See pictures. And we would could say eyeball estimate only. And we would put the eyeball estimate in there at $250. If you put eyeball estimate in here, that way we know it's an eyeball estimate. Um, and that way it covers you so that you're not completely held to that price. But again, make these estimates your best estimate on what you think that's going to cost to uh, do that repair. Thank you. Let's look at some specific work orders and find the official request for a property damage report or to report damages. And remember, even if it's not on here, we're going to report damages every single time. But I wanted to show you where these are in the work orders. This is an LPS order. And down here a little ways, there's the top of the order. We come down a little ways and we can see a property condition report, complete a property damage report. And this is where they're um, looking for damages. Now we see here that eyeball estimates are not considered a bid, but they're necessary when damages are present. So we're going to have to bid these damages and we're going to have to eyeball estimate these damages as well for things that um, they're looking for. So that's uh, LPS. Let's take a look here at CoreLogic. CoreLogic is nice. It's right out in the open. Damages. All damages must be reported in a bid along with the appropriate cost of repairs. Okay. So let's look over here for um, MCS. MCS is a little different. It's kind of hidden down here a little bit further um, and doesn't have its own line item, but it does say provide photos of all damaged areas and violations and submit bids to repair where applicable. And here's the uh, seven photos for each damage item. So you just need to find the damaged things on each particular client, but not so much finding them as it is just knowing that we have to bid them every single time and report them every single time we're out at the properties. Thank you.